let's take a look at how we make polyatomic ion Lewis structures. The process is actually the same as what we do for molecular compounds, except we must consider the charge on the ion. That's going to change the number of electrons in the formula. Negative charges increase the number of electrons, because remember, electrons are negative. Positive charges decrease the number of electrons. We'll look at examples of both. So here's a few different polyatomic examples. I'll just work through the hydroxide and the ammonia, the top one and the bottom one. Hydroxide, oxygen, is in group 6A, so it has six valence electrons. Hydrogen has one valence electron, and the charge on hydroxide is negative one. That means it has one extra electron. So since it's got a negative one charge, we're going to add an electron here. That gives us a total of eight electrons for our structure. Oxygen, hydrogen, there's only two atoms, so it doesn't really matter which one's the central atom. Need to connect them, just like we did before. Hydrogen has its two electrons, so it's happy. Oxygen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to get the full octet. Our final, our structure here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the correct structure. The one thing that we do to make it clear that this is an ion and not a molecule is we put brackets around the whole thing and we put the charge outside. So this would be the, the final Lewis structure for hydroxide. Now let's take a look at how that's different for ammonium, so the NH4+. N is in group 5A, so it has five valence electrons. Hydrogen has one valence electron. There's four of them. So we have a total of four valence electrons from our hydrogens. And then if we look at the charge, we have a positive charge. So we are going to subtract one. It's a positive one charge, we need to subtract one. Five plus four minus one gives us eight. Nitrogen is our central atom here. We have four hydrogens. I'm going to attach everything to the nitrogen. All of the hydrogens have two electrons, which is what they need to satisfy their octet. Nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The last thing we do, we put our brackets around our polyatomic ion, and we put the charge on the outside. 